The answer, yes. The question, could my t-shirt be any tighter? Don't agree. Roll that random ass video I put together. What's going on guys? This is the voice Sean Ortiz. I've been thinking of you. I've been looking at you. I've been missing you and I know all about you. I'm here to come back to you with an unboxing. I'm talking Pro Wrestling Crate. Pro Wrestling Crate. I've been subscribed for a little bit over a year. This is the November box. I got to say, for the most part, it's worth the money. You get two t-shirts. You get different collectibles. You get cool ass socks featuring legends and current superstars, AEW merch and everything in between. You know, I'm just going to double check the address on this box. Tell them short. I can't see over the box. Well, everything matches up on my end. <laughs> All right, let's get right on into it. I'm going to try to get my one take Jesse going. Now, I'm not going to give you this whole giant breakdown. I'm going to try to do this like a nice 90s microwave dinner. Three minutes or less, baby. All right, so when you open these things up, you get a spoiler card. This actually tells you what's in the box. So if you wanted to skip the element of surprise, you would just turn this bad boy over. But I'm not going to do that because usually I just want to be surprised. That's the element of the box, the mystery box. All right, kicking things off here. Usually you get like a pin, an 8x10, then kind of an alternate item like a sticker, a, a flag, or something like that. So right off rip, we got a pin and... The best in the world, CM Punk, there it is. Look at that, terrible ass lighting. Let's fix that. Oh snap, terrible ass what? Your mother's a what? I'm just kidding, I'll leave the mothers out of this. There it is, CM Punk pin, best in the world. That's pretty awesome. And I'm looking at the timer right now, that three minutes thing I said, that's out the window, huh? That's great. All right, first t-shirt of the box. Is it what I think it is? This is pretty cool. Pro Wrestling Tees recently acquired a licensing agreement with this legend. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. The dream comes true. World Heavyweight Champion, Dusty Rhodes. August 21st, 1979, Tampa, Florida. This is part of the Dusty Rhodes Foundation in agreement with Pro Wrestling Tees. For those of you wondering what the date is, August 21st, 1979, that's to commemorate the first time that the Dream secured the NWA World Heavyweight title during his legendary feud with handsome Holly Race. Here's one that'll surprise a bunch of you. Daddy's in the box. That's what I like to say. Daddy's in the box. Champa shirt. Now, Champa does have a pro wrestling tee store similar to El Generico and a few other people that, despite being on their WWE contract, they do have a pro wrestling tees agreement. Okay? So this is pretty cool. The Blackheart Champa DIY Reunion. Kind of bummed. I have literally only gotten one chase since subscribing to Pro Wrestling Tees inside of Ballpark 15 months. Now, even though this isn't a chase, this is pretty cool. Big John Stud Micro Brawler. That's awesome. This would have been, of course, Big John Stud. We He's been passed away for some time now. If I would have met Big John Stud, this would have been the item to get signed. So we're talking a sticker... And it's the devil, MJF style flat, the flag, the scarf, excuse me, is the giveaway. There's the chip from the devil's debut. This is not the devil that has been terrorizing on AEW as of late. Moving on now, we're talking super kick socks. I love these. There's a tag team edition. Uh, I've got Coca Beware. I've got uh, Penta and Phoenix. I have Brian Pillman, uh, all these different people. This one, very exciting. Demolition, obviously, Axe and Smash are going to be inside of this. I really love these socks, but they're a little snug. I mean, they match your t-shirt size, so if it, you're ordering medium shirts like I am, you're going to get the medium socks. Um, let me know in the comment section if these fit you a little snug, but I love them. I'll never get rid of them. Very, very common with Pro Wrestling Crate is the Headlock Series comic. This is Headlock Tales from the Road, an illustrated Thanksgiving special co-created by Tris stratus okay and there you go 
little comic book cover there. You got uh, that guy you guys like from The Office, John Krasinski, on the cover, serving his family resting plates. That's not him. That is him. That's not him. That is him. That's not him. That is him. I didn't ask you. And rounding out is the traditional 8x10 for Pro Wrestling Tees, and it is my man, EY. Wish I had this footage. I actually did a backstage interview with Eric Young in 2015, Crossroads for American Championship Entertainment, Ace Pro Wrestling, same show Tommy Dreamer was on, as well as many, many other talents from Ace Pro Wrestling that night. It was a historic night, and this Eric Young, one of the most historic wrestlers of our era, not... Not capping on that one, as the kids say. Ain't that right? All right. So there it is. Overall, in my eyes, it's a yay crate. I'm going to try to chop this down. I've already maximized my guaranteed amount of minutes that I told you I was going to do this in. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay with me for more. This has been The Voice. Shine Ortiz. Subscribe to my channel. I want to be famous. Subscribe to my channel. I want to be famous. Subscribe to my channel. Please help a brother out. <laughs>